what's up? This is Justin Johnson, and uh, I'm really excited. I got a surprise phone call from my buddy John Carter Cash today, and he said he had a guitar he wanted to give me, and um, I think I know what it is, and I'm really excited about checking it out. I wanted to share with you guys my first impressions, and of course, the magic moment when you open a guitar for the first time and uh, see what kind of magic's inside. So as you can tell, this is from uh, Martin Guitars. And uh, let's see what's in this baby. Oh, nice. Look at that. Awesome. The gig bag's already awesome. I always like when a guitar comes with a case or a gig bag too. But you can see uh, it's already, it's got that cash logo right here embroidered on there. That embroidery is really nice. I like the feel of this gig bag already. And uh, see what's inside this puppy. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Uh-huh. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so cool. Yep, so this is the DX Johnny Cash model. Can you see inside there? And this is the newest Johnny Cash model, that uh, model guitar that um, Martin Guitars, they just put this out. This is so cool. I love it. And uh, some of you may know, may not know the history. You know, Johnny Cash uh, had a very famous uh, guitar, a Martin guitar that he custom made or cu had had custom made from Martin. And it's like the only black guitar that Martin ever made. And um, it, I think that one was a D35. And recently, um, in collaboration with John Carter Cash and uh, Martin Guitars, they designed this new model, which is, it's really cool. Um, this is sort of like a... Uh, tr like a, almost like a travel guitar, not in small in size or anything. It's a full, full-sized uh, dreadnought guitar. But the way it's made, um, I love the materials these the Martin uses for these types of guitars. But it's got a laminate neck, so you can see it's not a solid piece of wood on the neck. It's actually, um, I'm sure, dozens and dozens of of small pieces that are laminated under high pressure together, and it creates this amazingly strong piece of wood when it's all done. And I love, I've never seen the black version like this where they must have dyed that uh, black, but it's got a really cool look to it, really nice. And it goes with this uh, black finish, this jet black finish. This uh, material, I can tell, um, is a material that Martin uses sometimes, and it's a high pressure laminate, and it's, uh, it's incredibly strong. But what I like about it is it sounds killer, but it's also way more... Um, resilient when it comes to humidity temperature changes it's a great guitar for actually just using traveling with and and uh still sounds killer um let's see speaking of sounding let's see what it sounds like uh, i haven't tuned it up or anything yet well it's actually in tune out of the box <laughs> yeah you know, it's got a, I can already tell it's got a nice deep body. It's got a lot of sustain too. Um, I like to, when I first get a guitar, whether it's uh, acoustic or electric, whatever it is, but especially with acoustic instruments, I like to um, just strum and hear the sustain and hear some of the tonal qualities from strumming. <laughs> It just keeps going. It keeps. I like the cosmetics on there too. You get some of that close up there. You got the star inlay, and the the cash inlay, which is a lot like the uh, original D thirty five Martin, the Johnny Cash model. It's also got that cool, um, you know, the, the cool graphics around there on the sound hole. And um, oh yeah, look at that. It's seamless. You can hardly see it, which is nice. But it's got an internal pickup. Um, that's the um, Fishman, I believe that's the Matrix pickup there. It's got volume and tone. And um, those are just, you know, one of the best, like the standard, um, you know, under saddle bridges. It's got a preamp inside. And I think, let's see, yeah, it should. But there's the, oh, there's the battery, which is nice that you don't have to go digging around inside the sound hole to change that 9-volt battery for the preamp. 
So that's right there next to the plug. This killer. It does, you can feel it resonate. And that's what I love about these um, surprisingly good resonance out of these, uh, some of these laminate materials that Martin uses. And I know this is like, I guess what, especially with Martin guitars um, and custom guitars, things like that, this is a really affordably priced one. Um, I believe they're well under a thousand dollars, which is uh, you know probably priced different depending on where you go. But I think the suggested retails somewhere around seven, something like that, seven hundred. But um, just what a cool guitar and what a, a tasteful design there. Homage to the black uh, Johnny Cash guitar. Got a flat pick now. I'm just seeing what some of the tone differences sound like uh, with finger picking and with uh, the flat pick. Also got the uh, Martin tuners on there. I can tell the tuners are good at holding tune considering the fact that I, I didn't even have to tune this out of the box. That's pretty crazy. It's got a nice um, nice looking black uh, bridge here and saddle. The pit guard's black. Black, black, black. <laughs> Everything's black. I love it. That was really cool. Got the, um, you know, the strap buttons, everything on there. Awesome. Feels great, you know. It feels like a it feels like a great Martin guitar. That is awesome. I can't wait to take this on the road and travel with it. Also, because I just like you know, sometimes you have guitars that you get that are are just for the studio or just for certain styles, just for certain songs. And I can tell this to me feels like a songwriting guitar. You know, not just because Johnny Cash is such a great songwriter, but. I, it, it's a guitar that I think I wouldn't mind taking out by the lake. I wouldn't mind taking it to the beach. I wouldn't mind having it in the sunlight. You know, humidity changes, different locations. A lot of times when I write, I'm in a place that inspires me and I'm doing something that's different or out of the ordinary. And um, you don't often have your, your you know, instruments that you really, uh, basically really expensive instruments. You usually don't carry those everywhere you go. You save those for special opportunities. And this is one that just seems like a, you know, freaking workhorse. That is awesome. I'm gonna try, I've got this uh, Fender Princeton amp here. I'm going to uh, plug this in and see what it sounds like plugged in uh, with this, uh, this MX, the Fishman pickup here. Well, it's already, um, I just plugged it in and uh, the, the amp was already on pretty loud and I'm getting no noise, I'm getting no feedback, um, which is great. You know, sometimes with acoustic pickups, you have to worry about that feedback if you're getting too close to the amplification source. <laughs> but as you can tell, that's, that's cranked and I'm getting none of that. It's 
got a volume and a tone knob there, which is nice. So you can control some of that tone in addition to just uh, rolling the volume up and down. Man, what great response too. It's so responsive. Um, one of the things that can happen a lot of times when you're plugging a, you know, a, a piezo pickup, like an acoustic pickup into the PA or the amp, is some of the frequencies start getting muddy, out of control. Maybe you get nothing but highs or you get nothing but lows or muddy mids. And this is so well balanced. You know, When I hit a low note and I hold that low note, it's not gonna, it's not interfering with the other low strings. You can hear all those other strings really clearly. And when I really slap a high string, it doesn't sound shrill and it's not cutting to the point where, oh man, I gotta turn that down or... Uh. See how the, the bright, uh, the, the high notes are still bright, but they're not sharp, they're not, they're not shrill. And again, out of the box, I, it feels like an electric guitar almost when I'm playing up high. It's not difficult to play in these higher frets. Also, it meets the body on the um, 14th fret, so you still get some of that high fret ac uh, access. a note out too you can hear the vibrato it, it has enough sustain both in the guitar and in the pickup system to where i can hear the details of the vibrato <laughs> It's 
so well balanced. That is just killer. And uh, what, a, what a good job they did. I'm so excited about this. Uh, this is, you know, the first time I've played it and I just, uh, I'm already kind of getting lost in it. I can't put it down. This is so cool. And uh, so again, this is the DX Johnny Cash model from uh, Martin Guitars. And uh, go check it out if you're looking for a, a good guitar that you can take anywhere, that travels good. And when you plug it in, it just sounds exactly like you want an acoustic guitar to sound, uh, both plugged in and acoustically, um, for a great price. Uh, this is a killer guitar. They, they really nailed it on this one. I love it. So, hey, John Carter, if you're watching out there, thanks for passing this along to me. And uh, for everyone else watching out there, if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks for watching.